Hey everybody, it's Roger from Roger's Reviews 5843 and we're talking about the Cybertruck and <clears throat> this will be my first new vehicle. I've bought a lot of used vehicles, a lot of used trucks, but this will probably be my first and last new vehicle ever buy. And I'm going to um, just turn 50, so I think after 50 years of working your tail off, you deserve at least one new vehicle. So, <clears throat> anyway, this truck is so awesome that uh, it's really hard to come up with any ideas that will really make it better. So, I tried to come up with some ideas. Um, I don't know if these have already been thought of or implemented, but um, I figured, what the heck, this is my only chance to uh, maybe do a top 10. <clears throat> Um, I've mentioned a few of these before, so bear with me if you've heard this before. Um, I think one of the number one things that would make the Cybertruck better is to have um, a key fob, and not only just a key fob that, uh, like any other any other key fob, but it needs to be either a watch or something that you can hang around your neck, and it has to be, of course, waterproof and. Um, be able to withstand like you know 100 or 200 feet of water or at least at least 50 feet of water <clears throat> so the reason for this is because um, if you're like me sometimes you don't want to carry your phone all the time and sometimes you want to go to the beach you just want to jump in the pool you want to get in the water and you don't want to worry about ruining your phone so also too if you're going out hiking or camping Say you're going on a mountain bike ride or motorcycle ride, sometimes you don't always want to take your phone with you. You can just take your key fob and go. <clears throat> also, too, in inclusion of the uh, key fob, I'd also like some type of uh, system where you can punch in a code or your handprint or something to get in the vehicle and only you can get in without having anything. No phone, no key fob, nothing. Maybe you can go up to the vehicle, hit some numbers or touch it or do something where only it knows that's you um, getting in. <clears throat> that way, if in case you lose everything, you can get inside the vehicle. And once you get inside the vehicle, you can do that again. Hit a code button or uh, like a pin number. So that way, you can override the system. And basically, you're the only one that knows that code. So if you're stuck somewhere, you lose your phone, you lose your key fob, you're stranded. And uh, you should be able to get into your truck and drive it back to safety. <clears throat> Another thing is multi-charging ports. Um, if you're like me, you're going to be probably pulling a trailer, camper, what have you, equipment behind the truck. You're not going to always be able to turn the truck and back it in unless you take everything off. And sometimes you're not going to be able to take it off. So <clears throat> if you had a charging point in the front and both sides and maybe even the back, so that way you could plug in no matter what location you're at, you can always reach a plug. Um, also, too, um, I think it'd be awesome if you had airless tires because <clears throat> the only thing that's stopping this truck is if you get a flat. So there's tires now that they have they can implement that can basically last longer, never get a flat, and basically they're almost indestructible. Um, if you can't do that, the next best thing would be run flats. Because uh, the last thing you want is when you're going somewhere is have a flat tire and be stranded. Because a lot of the newer vehicles, especially the battery powered vehicles, don't have a full size spare. They have a pump kit or patch kit or something like that. But sometimes if you ruin a rim or tire, a patch kit's not really going to help you. So if you could have something that uh, could run no matter what, at least get you to safety, that would be optimal. Also too, I heard about, <clears throat> they're thinking about having this uh, Cybertruck be amphibious. I don't know if this is true, this is just speculation, but if this is true, if they can make this thing float, um, it needs to have some type of propulsion system. So, I'm sure their engineers can come up with something that's kind of like a jet ski. Maybe has a couple holes in the front and a big hole in the back. Basically, it sucks the water through the front and pushes out the back. Just to give it some propulsion, doesn't have to go 90 mile an hour, but 
at least 20, 25, maybe faster. It would be awesome if it could do at over 20 or 30 mile an hour on the water. That way, if you do get in the water and it does float, <clears throat> you can uh, have enough power to fight the resistance. So if you have, you know, say a stream or river or whatever that uh, has a good current, you can fight the current and, and get out of there. <clears throat> But wouldn't that be awesome to have traffic, not be able to get tra through traffic, have a traffic jam on a bridge, and be able to go to a boat ramp. Like in here, like where I live in Jacksonville, Florida, there is boat ramps everywhere. If you know where all the boat ramps are, you can bypass a traffic jam, no problem. That would be awesome. <clears throat> um, also, too, a front hitch. Uh, we carry a lot of things that are built for Reese hitches. We pull a lot of uh, pencil hitch or... Uh, military style, style hitches that you can slide in, pin in, and it's very nice to have one in the front because I don't know if you guys ever backed a trailer. If you hook up a trailer to the front of your truck, it's 10 times easier to push it and move it where you want to go. So definitely would be cool if we had a hitch system. Also, too, some type of winch system or a hookup for a winch because no matter how good your 4x4 is, you can still get stuck. So... If you have a winch system, you have that, that extra security of being able to hook onto something and pull yourself out or pull yourself up a hill or whatever you have to do or pull somebody else out. So a, hit, a winch would be awesome. Lots of storage. I would love to have a truck that has awesome storage. Um, kind of like the Rivian had that extra pass-through space and sometimes um, when you have an electric vehicle, they can create more space because they have all this other area that's normally taken up by mufflers, exhaust, transmissions, um, drive shafts, stuff like that. They can create little little spots where you can store stuff. And when you have a truck and you have a business, it's so nice to have extra extra storage. <clears throat> Even up above or glasses and all kinds of garage door opener or whatever. All the stuff over, I would like, like as much storage as possible. Also, too, if you're camping out of it. It's so nice to have a separate little space for each little thing, little some crannies. Um, in my truck, I bought aftermarket a safe that goes in the console, an aftermarket safe that goes under the back seat. And also, too, when you're out camping, when you're out swimming, when you're out biking, a lot of times you don't want to carry your wallet and your credit cards with you. But it would be so nice, like my truck has, I can put, like while I'm working, in the tree, I can take my wallet and put it in the in interior safe. And what's nice is the safe I have, it's bolted right to the frame of the truck. So in order to break into this thing, it would take a, a grinder, a torch, and some time to get into this thing. And it's concealed, so a lot of people don't even know it's there. And even if they did open it up and look in there, it's hidden from view. Um, and even if they knew it was in there, it would be very hard to get into. So. If you have something that's bulletproof, it's very hard on the outside. If you have a safe on the inside, especially when it's hidden, I would feel comfortable leaving my wallet and my valuables. Or if, even if you're shopping and you're going to multiple places, you don't want to carry all that stuff around or go home to drop off the valuables. There needs to be a place in there where you can store your valuables. <clears throat> hidden compartments, just like I mentioned before. Um, if you have a um, if you don't have a safe, you can have a hidden compartment in there that not everybody knows about, <clears throat> unless they have a cyber truck that you can hide your wallet or something in and maybe lock it up um, to where nobody's going to look in that spot. They're going to have to really search hard to find it. Um, also, too, if this thing's going to be amphibious, it would be nice if it was submersible. So, like, say you have you're going across a river and another boat or something pullers water all over top of you the water's not going to sink down in or you're going to have um, ability to temporarily go submerge and come back up like porpoise up but if it goes completely underwater um, there should be a way to seal it to where you don't take on much water and if you do the water will come right back out <clears throat> anytime in the water you, you don't you don't really want to go underwater but if you do you want to be able to be able to float back up to the top so I was thinking maybe <clears throat> the tires might help you if you have air air in your tires, but 
if they can make it to where it's sealed airtight, they can make it either foam or some type of airtight uh, pockets of air inside the vehicle to where um, it's light enough to float. So no matter what, the battery's on the bottom, so it's not going to flip over. It'll always be right side up, but it has to be buoyant enough to where no matter what happens, no matter what you have in the truck, that truck eventually is going to come back to the surface like a bobber. It's going to go right back up. Even if water or something hits it, it'll go under and come back up. So that way, if you <clears throat> if you're in the water or you get knocked in the water, you actually drive in the water or drive off the road and hit hit a pond or a river or a ditch or something, that it can be it can be at least float till help arrives. <clears throat> Um, also, too, it would be nice if you're able to have a charging hookup or some type of hookup to where if you're pulling a trailer or you're pulling something and you need extra charge, you can either hook up to your trailer and say some of the newer trailers are going to have battery packs in them. So if you want to travel long distance and say you have a cyber truck that doesn't have much range you can you can go rent or hook up a trailer that has a battery pack and plug into that trailer and you can extend your range so this would be great for someone that has like a 250 mile cyber truck and they don't usually go on distance long distance very often but they don't want to upgrade to say like the tri-motor twenty thousand dollar more truck to get twice as much range you can rent a battery pack and you can pull it with a trailer and it could be a special hookup that just plugs in that extends the battery um, life in your range. Also too, it'd be nice if you're gonna have a Cybertruck that pulls a trailer, say a living quarters or what have you, and uh, or say you're pulling another EV, you can plug in and you can actually uh, charge that vehicle or uh, you know either way, that power can go either way. Say if you're living out of the camper and you need full power from the truck it can give you full power um, or if you're charging your truck from another EV like say another cyber truck you can plug in and pull power that way or if you have a trailer that has a battery pack that you're trying to charge or extend the range so it should be able to go both ways um, but that was just some of the 10 or 11 things that I was thinking about that can improve the cyber truck for someone that actually has a truck and thinking about ways that I would use my truck and improve the ways that uh, you know basically you're if you're traveling or if you're working on your truck these are things that you might need or help the truck to be better anyway that's my list um, kinda up late tonight just thinking about ideas and that's all I could come up with because this trucks awesome anyway but if anybody's listening uh, maybe if this is a good idea, maybe you can uh, tell somebody who can make the changes or implement the changes or at least give the idea to somebody that uh, can make changes. Anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.